Hello! Today I'm going to try and finish this roll of film that has been in my camera since January. So over a month so far. Right now it is 16 degrees outside. So hopefully I don't die. No promises. <sighs> I'm going to visit my friend Megan who is home for a few weeks and we are going to go take some pics. She never shot film before so I'm going to show her how to do that so that will be fun. Okay, bye. I forgot I wanted to show you my new camera racks. So take a look. Doesn't that look so nice? My brother made them for me. Hashtag blessed.
Hello, we be out here in the woodland area. We just had a Sasquatch sighting. Fucking crazy shit I've ever seen. It was pretty crazy, not gonna lie. We're taking some film pictures and we're gonna develop them and then we're gonna look at them. And that's, it's, it's a fun time out here. Okay, I will see you in some time whenever I film another catch-up video. Okay, bye. Hello, it's me just checking in to say hello. We took some pictures today and it was very cold and we almost died, but we didn't die. We didn't die. So, it went well, I think. I don't know. What do you think? It was good. It was just, it was cold. Did, how did you like your first film experience so far? It was 10 out of 10 experience. <laughs> Zero out of 10 for the weather. Two out of 10 friendship. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> We're going to Taco Bell later, so... Okay, that's all I have to say, I think. Goodbye! Toots! She said toots. Can you see her? Look, do you see the snout? It's so cute. Get away from me. <laughs> when I was developing these photos, I had a mix up of the chemicals. Boo! Yeah, I know. I actually was developing two rolls at once. Two rolls? Two rolls? Why can't I talk right? What is wrong with me? Anyway, um, I was developing two of them at once, and the first one did not turn out. I was planning on doing two videos, two film souping videos, and we only got one out of that. So that was disheartening, but it is what it is. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because some of these results might be due to that issue, but also I think 15 minutes might have been too long. I think that you should separate the lemon juice from the tea, like do one or the other and not both at the same time because I think that proved too strong of an effect unless you dig that. I just, I like more subtle effects. When I first used the tea, I thought it was just lemon. I didn't realize it was lemon zinger, which has like hibiscus and all those other things in it, which is why it was red. Let's look at, let's go ahead and look at the photos. I think that's all I had to say beforehand. So Jasmine, please leave me alone. I did some color correction on my own in Lightroom to try and make them look a more realistic color than what my scanner tried to restore them as. Coffee time. Yeah, so this isn't straight from the scanner. I uh, messed with the white balance a little bit to try and make it more accurate. So let's go. Enough chit chat. This photo is of my dad getting into my car. I took him by surprise. And as you can see, this souping did some very intense effects on the film. Um, it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. It has these little dots in them, as you can see. It looks like it eroded the film quite a lot. This one is just taken out of my car on the rear view mirror, the side mirrors, whatever. I'm not a mechanic. There's a good piece of hair right over there I didn't notice before until now. Um, again, not much information on the picture itself, which I think is the 
developing issue. It's a bit bright and you can see like the scanning lines. Um, I think that's also has to do with the film itself because every time I scan this film it gets those lines in some of the images and I think that's because it's expired film. It's like, what, 15 years expired, I think? And sometimes it's just how it happens. I don't have the best scanner either, so you know, you do what you gotta do. But I like the color, the gradient that kind of happened of the purple and then it goes into the orange, yellowy color that looks very pretty to me. This is another picture of my dad, which if it wasn't, if it wouldn't have been so blown out around near his face in like the window area, it would have been kind of cool, I think, because most of the effects are on this left side. And I think it frames the picture pretty nicely, if only it wouldn't have been blown out, which again, probably was the development issue, but it is what it is. This one's kind of cool. It's just a picture of us driving down the street. We got that good old snow in there, which is all melted now. It's actually been 60 degrees the past two days, so I am thriving. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, kind of the effect kind of looks like an acid wash, TBH. You know, like some sort of. Um, it reminds me of, what's that one movie with the nuclear nuclear spill or whatever, Chernobyl? I don't know why, but it reminds me of that. Here's another one with a really intense effect from the chemicals. Um, again, a nice gradient in here. And as you can see on the bottom, there's some trees. This was basically a mostly sky shot. I'm pretty sure it was at sunset, but you know, I can't really tell kind of looks like this little orb is the sun. <laughs> this one is of my mom's dog, Chula. Turned out probably the best out of all of them as far as having a subject. And the film soup actually frames it quite nicely and it has almost an accurate color palette for this one, but not quite. There's this cool little orb over here which is on the negative itself and i'm pretty sure that's a chemical thing pretty cool pretty cool i like the washes of color i think that looks neat this one is of megan oh this one's kind of cool actually i like the gradient it looks super cool i just i wonder if the gradient is because i mixed up the chemicals or if it's from this film soup i feel like it's from the film soup I'm gonna have to try it again and see. I think I'm going to separate the two and do one that's just lemon juice and one that's just the lemon zinger tea. So I feel like if I had to guess the spots, the spots are definitely from the lemon juice and this part where it erodes the film a little bit might also be from the lemon and maybe the color gradient is from the tea, perhaps. I'll have to do some future experiments to see. Is that it? Okay, well that's all the good ones that I found, but I think I'll show you some of the other ones that I didn't color correct just for fun, so you can see. Okay, so this is what the scanner did for color restoration, and as you can see it looks very odd. <laughs> There's no accurate color whatsoever. Um, yeah, and this just is a picture of a car door being opened. That is it for the photos. What did you think? Honestly, I was really not liking them at first, but now after taking a look at them again and analyzing them, I think I like them a bit more, which is odd. I feel like it's the opposite normally. I will definitely do more of these soupings, but individually, like I said before, where I'll just do the lemon juice for one and then the lemon zinger tea for the other, because we got some cool effects and I probably won't screw up the developing next time, but I guess I can't really promise. You know, it's kind of funny, I remember my old, one of my old professors said one time that when he was teaching us how to develop film, back when I majored in photography, like two years ago, I, he was like, 
you're not gonna you're probably not gonna screw up the developing process the first couple times but once you get used to it and you're like know what you're doing you're gonna screw it up and that's exactly what happened with me here so yeah how many times have i screwed up on this channel it's okay you know we learn from our mistakes you can learn from mine or you, if it's just funny to watch me fail that's okay too i guess i see how it is but you know i'm not gonna judge so let me know what you think. If you're thinking about doing a film suit yourself, let me know. Um, take all this into consideration. I have some other film souping videos if you're interested. If you decide you want to mix chemicals, please do your research, okay? Do not die. I am not responsible for that. Don't come back here and say that your child died because they saw one of my videos and was like, I want to try it, and then they exploded the whole house. Okay, it's not my fault. This is my disclaimer. So if you're trying a film soup, talk to your film lab that develops your film because they may not take it. And you can contaminate other people's film and the film lab's chemicals if you just give it to them and they don't know. So don't be that dick. You need to know. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, this went on a lot longer than I planned, so sorry about that if you don't like longer videos. Let me know your thoughts, let me know if you have any film souping suggestions or other video suggestions, because I'm always down to please the internet. Okay, um, I'm gonna go now, hope you're getting some sunshine wherever you are, gotta get that vitamin D. And I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.